Hi, this is Rick Lineker. I am going to teach you how to use lists in HTML. There are two types of lists we'll cover. Unordered, where there are no numbers, and ordered, where HTML numbers the list for you. Let me just show you an example of what these things look like. I've got a page already prepared. I'll go ahead and render it. And up here, this is an unordered list where each item has a bullet next to it. And this is an ordered list where each item has a number next to it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new document, list2.htm. Oops, forgot to get rid of the .txt. Okay, drag that bad boy over to Notepad. And let's go ahead and get our required elements. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a heading to this. Hi there, this is our first list. Okay, good. Now to start an unordered list, you do that. To end an unordered list, you do that. Remember, start tags have to be matched with an end tag. And the items that go in between, they're called list items, or uh, noted by li tags. For instance, here I've got four list items, li, close li, li, close li, and so forth. I'm just going to put a little title up here. These are my favorite cars, carriage return there, or line break. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to minimize this so I can use it again in just a minute. Double click on list two so it renders. There you go. You see this is an unordered list, meaning there's no order to it, no numbers, but it does have a bullet. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, talk about something that I haven't talked about so far. The book has covered it. We are going to add a head tag between HTML and body. Make sure you, you end the head. And for right now, we're going to put a title there. This is my page. Okay. And what I'm going to do is show you how it looks like before I save this. I'm not going to save it. I'll go back and double click this. And if you'll notice up at the top, it just says Mozilla Firefox. Okay. Now I put title of this is my page so let me save it re-render it and up in the title bar it says this is my page Mozilla Firefox so that's a way you can give all of your HTML documents within any browser a title okay now on this same page I am now going to add an ordered list Okay, so below here, I can add something. Here's my second list. And what we'll do is we'll say these are my favorite composers in order. Line break there. Now, the difference is the unordered list is UL and the ordered list is OL. Remember? Start OL and OL. Let me paste in some entries there. Notice up here there were no bullets that we had to add. And watch, there are no numbers that we added here either. But since it's an ordered list, when we come out here, you see that the HTML renderer puts those in for you and up here the HTML renderer puts the bullets in for you. 
you can put lists within lists and I'm going to create another page to demonstrate this list3.htm and we'll go ahead and drag that over here and I'll add a head section title um, we'll say nested lists don't forget to close your title and don't forget to close your head uh, you need to open and close the body okay let's give this some meat this page use, uses nested lists okay and uh, let's see we'll start with an unordered list that'll be the outer loop okay and now we're going to add some list items which is a requirement and I'm going to give myself a little room because these list items are going to need more than one line in the editor And let's go ahead and go up here and say what this page is about. This shows cat names in different countries. Okay, so here uh, we use H3 USA. Okay, and down here we'll do. Australia. Okay, let me just save that, minimize this, and just see what this looks like. Okay, about what you'd expect. The list has USA and Australia with um, bullets. Okay, now inside the USA, we're going to add an ordered list. You can add an unordered list if you want, but for variety we'll do that okay and now we're going to add several list items okay let's just render that minimize okay so within the USA you see those ordered items now what we're going to do is come down here in Australia we're going to add an ordered list And then we will go ahead and put the items in the Australian list. Save this. Go back. Oops. Go back. And you see there is an ordered list within an unordered list. Now, this is all covered in your book, pages 61 through 70. They actually do a very good job of explaining. So I'm going to encourage you to study the book and to go ahead and study these examples and that is all for right now.